This lesson continues our focus on how to compose an expository essay by focusing on body paragraphs, where you will develop your ideas clearly. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a body paragraph and explain its purpose in an essay, list, define, and explain the purposes of a body paragraph's required elements, and use that information to write body paragraphs for an expository essay. Body, your keywords are body paragraphs with the required elements of topic sentences, details and development, and transition sentence. So body paragraphs are the middle paragraphs of a paper that are designed to develop your supporting details and elaborate on your main idea. Basically, they build your main idea the same way that weightlifting builds muscle. They also need to follow the organizational structure of the paper that you set out in your introduction paragraphs. To accomplish this, your body paragraphs need three basic parts. A topic sentence, details and development, and a transition sentence. Your topic sentence is the first sentence of the paragraph. And this states the main idea of the paragraph, or the supporting point that you're developing. You have to keep your topic sentence as a single sentence and keep it clear. You also need to be on a supporting point that's named in your thesis. It should follow in order. So the first body paragraph should be the first supporting point that was named in your thesis statement. Which brings us to our details and development. This is the, uh, to build the main idea of the paragraph, and it connects this main idea to the main idea of the paper. So you need to use cited details here. And then you need to use your own words and ideas to explain how the cited details relate to your idea. It's a little bit like using Legos. You cannot build an entire wall or house using Legos all of the same size without overlapping them. You can't just line them up and expect your wall to stand. We have to vary things. In this way, you would use a cited detail and then explain it, and then use a cited detail and then explain it, a little bit like having a sandwich. So, cite your details, but not your explanations, because you do not want a paragraph full of just cited details. And this should be the bulkiest part of your paragraph, about five to eight sentences. Which brings you to the last sentence, a transition statement. And this wraps up the point that you're on and heads your paper in the direction of the next point. Again, this is just a single sentence, but it starts with a transition phrase and summarizes the point of the paragraph. Then it previews the point of the next paragraph. So body paragraphs develop the main idea of the paper through cited details and explanations that connect these details and ideas back to the main idea of the thesis. Your topic sentences and transitions help to maintain the paper's organization, as does developing your supporting points in the same order you previewed them in from your introduction.